Hello, I'm Richard Campbell and I'm the Technical Director for Hydrosense and today I will be giving you an instructional video on how to use the single syringe Legionella Field Test EU kit. Now the EU kit is used where you need an action level of 1000 CFU per litre and 10,000 CFU per litre. Prior to conducting the test, I would recommend that you fully read the instructions which contain detailed steps on how to perform the test and also contains performance factors on the use of the test. The first step in the procedure is to collect your water sample. A wide variety of water samples can be used with the test kit, including tap or faucet water, pools, spas, misters, humidifiers, and other water types. So I've collected my water sample already. So the first thing you do is take your water sample and pour it into the beaker that's provided with the kit. It's marked up the side of the beaker and you fill it to the 100 milliliter mark. So now we're going to take the sample, um, draw it up with a 60 milliliter syringe and pass it through the filter. Prior to doing that, we just need to tighten the cap on the filter to ensure no leakage from this end port. Then we draw up the sample and then attach it to the filter and then pass the water through the filter. And what we're doing at this point is concentrating any bacteria, any Legionella bacteria that are present in the water sample within the hollow fibers of the filter. So as you get close to the bottom, you can just tip the beaker to one side to ensure you draw up all the liquid that's in the beaker. So now that we've passed the sample through the filter, we now need to extract any bacteria that are present within the filter using the recovery buffer syringe. So we can detach the 60 ml syringe. Now the majority of the bacteria will be collected at the top end of the filter. So in order to maximize recovery, if we take the top, off, top cap off, place it in the bottom, we can then get access to the samples that are at the top. We then attach the recovery buffer syringe and in the EU test kit, this syringe has a blue cap. We remove the blue cap and then maintaining the filter in an upright position, attach the syringe. And then at this point, we can invert the filter in order to do the washing of the fibers and, and extraction of the sample. So the first step is to pull the plunger back to the one milliliter mark on the syringe right at the bottom and then push it in to the sample. We then pull back to the one mil mark and then push in and we repeat this three times. After performing that three times, we then draw the syringe back to the 0.5 mil mark, which is halfway down the syringe. What we're looking to do then is collect 0.1 mils of sample, which is the first mark on the, on the syringe here. So we push the syringe plunger in slowly till we get to the 0.1 mil mark. Now, if we have an air bubble in here, then we can easily pull the syringe back again and, and, and try that again. It's important that the sample doesn't contain air bubbles and that it is accurate collecting only 0.1 mils. If you have too little or too much sample, that can affect the performance of the test. So now we've collected our 0.1 mil sample. We can then take the test from its foil pouch. We do this just prior to running the test. The test is sensitive to moisture and it's recommended that you only remove it just prior to running the test. Place the test on a flat surface. And then you can detach the syringe from the filter and place this filter to one side. Then in an upright position, depress the plunger onto the sample port of the test, dispelling all of the sample. And at this point, we would start a timer for 25 minutes and then read the test after 25 minutes and no longer than 30 minutes. If the test is read before 25 minutes, or after 30 minutes, then you may get inaccurate results. The test consists of two lines, a test line and a control line. If both lines are present, then the test is positive. 
To determine the hazard index using the visual scorecard, move the visual scorecard along until it matches the intensity of the test line and then read the hazard index from the card. A hazard index score of one or greater is equal to or greater than 1000 CFU per litre and a hazard index score of six or greater is equal to or greater than 10,000 CFU per litre. If the test shows one line in the control line position, then the test is negative and Legionella pneumophila serogroup 1 has not been detected. If no control line is present, then the test is invalid and should be repeated.